Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Nothing new. Of course I have a haul for you guys. And it is pretty big and I'm going to try to fit it all into one video. But I might have to split it into dos. Um, I have my haul from when I attended the VIB Rouge event that Sephora held. And of course I bought some stuff there. Then, of course that wasn't enough, so I have a haul from the stuff that I purchased or was purchased for me. Yeah. Online through the VIB sale. And, and then I'm just going to squish in this palette that I got from QVC. Um, so yeah. <laughs> We definitely need to get started because your girl got a lot of stuff. And the biggest thing that I got is Tarte High Performance Naturals. Why, why am I saying that? The first thing that I got is this Tarte Sweet Dreams Bon Voyage palette thingy. This is the one that's ex this is the one that's exclusive to Sephora, and um, I kind of like this one better than the one that's in Ulta. I don't know why, but I like it. So it comes in this little box, or big old box, and it's this bag right here. And I don't know, this bag reminds me of Jasmine from Aladdin. I just don't really like the tassels, but whatever. And to see what's inside this bad boy, it just comes like this. It has a lip, like the little lip crayons, a lip gloss, the Tarte Lights Camera, Action Mascara, I think that's what it's called. Lights Camera Action. The Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And um, it comes with this cheek stain, which is actually very, very, very pretty. It comes with a little sample of the Maracuja Oil. And it comes with one of their, um, if I'm not mistaken, the Smooth Operator Setting Powder. And then it comes with this palette, which I don't really need another palette that has neutrals. But, I can't help it. Anyway, it comes with a little insert that has all the names on it. I don't really like that. But, I'm just thinking of like taping it up here. No? Is that a good idea? So I can see the names of the eyeshadows. So, this is what the inside of the palette looks like. I really, really like this color. It's called the Cordon Blue, which is so cute. I like this color a lot. I just, I like them all. That's why I bought it. But, um, I don't know. I feel like you can do a lot of pretty looks with this shadow. I don't really have um, many Tarte products as a matter of fact um, besides the stuff that I have recently hauled uh, the only thing I owned was their Tarte blush in Captivating and as of lately I don't know I've been wanting to try other stuff so I picked this up and it was eh, it was a good purchase okay the next thing I got is just a little random this is like six dollars and I've been wanting it for a while this is little Sephora Precision Precision oh, pore cleansing pad, and it's supposed to be for your face. Like, you put um, a facial cleanser. Like, if I wanted, I could put a little bit of purity on this and then just put my fingers in it and scrub it on my face. But I actually purchased this to use it to clean my brushes. So, what I did, um, and I actually already used it once and I like the way it works, just put a little bit of, I think I used baby shampoo put a little bit of it and then you swirl it in here and it really deeply cleanses the brush this was six dollars I do want to try Sigma spa glove but I ain't trying to pay forty dollars for that junk right now so <laughs> I tried this one and I like it so I'm gonna start with the stuff that I got at the VIB Rouge event and I was able to get my products 20% off on Wednesday, November 6th, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I, I, November 5th. I started getting them um, on sale a day before because I went to that event. And it was so awesome. And everybody's support was just great. So, let's get started with those products first. I was really surprised to find this lipstick in stores because people have been freaking out over it. And that is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. Um, I thought it was going to be very similar to the shade that I have on my lips. And this is actually Stila's Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina. And I love it so much. But this is more brown. Like it's, it's deeper. And I love it so, so much. It dries to such a beautiful matte finish. Um, I don't think I own anything else from Kat Von D. But this lipstick I just... 
that's a habit. And with 20%, so much better. This next product I actually purchased on a whim. Uh, I went into the store not even thinking about purchasing it, but I went with my friend and she was like, please. I don't know, she shops through me. That makes sense? She just likes makeup through me. So she put it in my car. She's like, you have to have it. So you're going to get it. And it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. This is limited edition. Besides the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, I don't think I own anything from them. But um, as you can see, I've touched this. But um, I really like the packaging. I feel like it's very... Oh, they're coming at the camera. I feel like it's very nice and sleek and it's pretty. And it comes with three blushes. And they're just so pretty. I don't own any of the blushes. I know people like freaked out when these blushes first came out, but I wasn't trying to pay $30 per blush. It wasn't gonna happen. It comes in three shades. I'm not sure which one's which. Um, but there's Luminous Flush, Incandescent Electra, and Mood Exposure. I just seem to find them really pretty. And the palette I think is 50 something dollars. Um, it was 20% off, so I went ahead and got it. So the shades are really similar. One is like a light pink, one is a peachier pink, and the other one's a more mauve tone pink. So the next product that I got is this little dude right here, and it is the Josie Moran Pure Argan Milk. I have wanted this for so long, but it is like $58, $60, and it kind of hurts me to pay that much money for something that I'm not sure if it's going to work on me or not. But I have heard so many people talk about how it has completely changed your skin, and I'm really, really interested in seeing how this works for me. Um, I feel like this is a little bit better for me than the oil because, um, I don't know, it just, I feel like it dries differently. Then again, it, it is milk. It does feel moisturizing and I have tried it once since I purchased it and I really liked it. My skin was really dry and patchy. I had tried applying some foundation and it was just, I don't know what's wrong with my skin lately. Like I said, I'm probably dehydrated. And um, I washed it all off, applied some of this, let it set. I used this as my moisturizer and it worked. Like, my skin looks so nice and luminous. I really, really hope that this works wonders on my face. I'm going to save my favorite things for last. Um, but right now I'm going to show you guys this little Bite Beauty um, lipstick set. This is the Bite High Pigment Lip Pencil, I think the, it's a little Christmas set, and it's so cute because it comes in like this little tin can, like it just reminds me of like Altoids, and comes in here, and it's just these four very, very, very pretty um, lip colors. I haven't tried these or swatched them yet. But this was $25 and I wanted to give it a chance. Lately, I've really been getting into a Bite Beauty. I don't know why. <laughs> then I got a little professional. This is just a little travel size. And um, this is the one that's like eight. It's $10, but I got it for eight because it was 20% off. And it's just this little guy right here. Um, I have a few more, but like I said, I do like this primer. And because the colder times are arriving approaching whatever um now is probably the only time that i will get a lot of use of this product so i have little tiny samples but i wanted to get another one just in case you know i actually really start loving it then i finally got the benefit majorette blush ah, i think this blush is so cool this is what it looks like it's like and it's like a little sun. It's so cute. My, the coolest thing about this blush is that it, it goes from cream to powder. And I'm not really about um, cream blushes because, I don't know, I just feel like it makes my skin look more oily. But this product just, it literally turns into powder. It is the absolute coolest thing ever. I, I when The first time I swatched it, I was like, this is, this is so cool. I just want it. And it smells so delicious i thought that i would never get this um just because i just thought it was way too much for a product but i bit the bullet and i went ahead and purchased some of these i got not one but five of the nars audacious lipsticks oh my god these are worth every penny like i'm not even kidding kidding 
I'm not even kidding. These are worth every single penny. Um, the formula is so amazing. It's so creamy, but it's not like bleeding all over your face creamy. The pigmentation is crazy. I got this in five different shades, and I'm actually going to show you guys my shades. There's one more. There's two, but there's one that I really, 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 really want, and it is in the shade Live, and it's just a deep, deep color, and you know, I love them colors. And I wish I would have known how much I would have loved it, and I would have just picked it up in the sale. But because I love them so much, I probably will spend the full price just on that lipstick because it's just so pretty. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you guys is in the shade Anita, and I did get three nudes, and this is just one of them. It's just a beautiful rosy, like a rosy brown, a rosy peach. It's just a beautiful, beautiful nude. Love it so much. Then the next one I got is probably one of my favorites, and this is in the shade Raquel. It is a very, very light nude. When I first got it, I was like, man, I think this is going to be too light for me, but it works and I'm so glad that it does because I love it. Then I got the shade Anna, which was one that I didn't like intend on purchasing until I saw it. And I was like, oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, like mauve color. And it's like a mauve pink. And I prefer colors like this. I always have. Um, I don't know. I've just always gravitated to these kind of deeper nudes I love them so much and I had to have this color when I saw it then my awesome roommate actually purchased this one for me <laughs> this one was just I actually saw this color on Nicole from Young Wild and Polish and I was like how did I not buy this the first time I went to Sephora so I went back and got it and this is in the shade Lana and it's just like a red orange and it's so absolutely beautiful and I don't have anything else like surprisingly in my collection that looks like this so I was like yes 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 let me have it like I'm not kidding when I tell you guys that the pigmentation on these lipsticks I'm sure everybody's raved about these lipsticks but the pigmentation on these lipsticks is friggin insane you don't have to like build up the it's just they're they're amazing this last shade that I have is in Charlotte and just a deep brown red and you guys know how much I love these dark colors so I had to get it. Now the only one that I'm missing like I said is Liv and it's not it's like a deep color like Charlotte but it's more berry, more plum. It's not as red toned if that makes any sense. It's not as like I don't know. But I really 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 want that color and I'm actually thinking of doing some lip swatch videos with these lipsticks um, I do want to purchase live before I do that I want to get live and then I want to do lip swatches for you guys and show you guys how these products look on and more than anything how they apply like how you guys can see how crazy the pigmentation is I'm sure other people on YouTube have done this but I want to do it then on to the Becca stuff that I got at the Rouge event, and this is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting, Poreless Priming Perfector, and I just wanted to give this a try. I've really been into primers lately because I do see how much they benefit your makeup, like the life of your makeup throughout the day. Throughout the day. I've tried it a few times. What I did try on my skin was a little dry, but I'm going to give it another chance because I have been taking care of my skin a little better now that I have all these awesome skincare products that I got. Then I finally, finally got two of the Becca highlights. I want them all, not going to lie. Didn't think I was going to love this as much as I do. Um, when I first swatched it in the store, like I saw a bunch of people on YouTube, everybody's been raving about these products. And I was like, how good could it be? And then I swatched it and I was like, oh, it's that good. Yeah. But these products are pretty pricey. And I couldn't bring myself to pay close to $40 for a highlight. But when things are on sale, it doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> and I purchased the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. I do want Moonstone and Rose Gold really, really bad. But I wanted this shade the most because I feel like it's the most universal. And this is the one that I will probably use the most. This product is so unbelievably smooth. I just love it. It's like, it's such a pretty color. I feel like this complements so many different skin tones. And what I love the most about these little things is the 
packaging. It looks like a little flying saucer. Then, because you guys know how I am about limited edition stuff, I got the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Gold. And I was a little scared of this, but I really, really wanted it. I don't know why, I just thought it was so beautiful. And it really is so beautiful. It is just a beautiful gold highlight. I have tried it. I feel like it can seem like it's a little bit scary to some people. Let me show you guys. It is seriously like, it's just like a yellow gold. Like, I don't know how else to explain this. Um, but this is super intense. And I was a little worried that I would not be able to wear this ever. <laughs> I wore it once already and I love it. And it makes you feel very, very like goddess-like. When you first put it on, it looks really, really, really intense. You have to use a really, really light hand with it, as you guys can see. I put this on, I swiped it, and then I have to like... You have to blend it out because if not, it's really, really intense. But the finished look is just so beautiful and I think that it's very unique to have such a gold highlight. I don't know, I just prefer that with my skin tone. And I just had to get it. It's just it's really pretty. If you guys can get it, they, I see them a lot in stock. So if you guys can find it in your Sephora, then... Or Ulta. I know Ulta has a lot of these. last product that I got at the Rouge event, I was the most excited for because... Actually, I'm lying. I was excited about everything, but I was just like, I knew without a shadow of a doubt that I wanted this in my life. Like, I had to have it. And it's the NARS Virtual Domination Cheek Palette. Now, I don't really own a lot of NARS products. I have some lip liners, and I have, like, a little duo of um, the NARS, like, a little mini duo that I hauled of the NARS Laguna and Orgasm. And... I just I had to get this like it's just so beautiful I love the packaging it's different than their normal packaging and I like so it one of the main reasons why I wanted it, it is because it has a shadow shadow it's because it has a blush that I've always wanted to try and because it has a Laguna bronzer you get this it's a bigger size than what you normally get when you buy the little pan and um I was like this is a what is it it's a bargain so you know I had to get it and it comes with the Laguna bronzer it comes with three blushes I think one is limited edition to this palette and that's uh, it comes with deep throat blush which is the one that I wanted to try it has sex fantasy final cut <laughs> these names are just so you know how NARS does it and then it comes with the highlighting powder in Miss Liberty and then of course with the Laguna bronzer and it has a huge mirror and this is what the products look like. This is just your beautiful Laguna. Um, and then these are the blushes. This is the highlighting powder. Um, I think this is Deep Throat. Final Cut. and Or Deep... I don't know. I really don't know which one's which. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm a little crazy, so I kind of want to purchase this on its own I don't want to use this because it's just so pretty but you know I'm gonna use it because I paid for it and yeah but um I just feel like it's such an amazing cheek palette to have one of my well she's I want to say she's one of my friends on YouTube yeah because we're subscribed to each other she actually did a review on this palette and I'm actually gonna link her down below because it was a pretty in-depth review and she talks about how the weights of these four products are um, almost the same size as like the full size blushes so you are really getting an amazing amazing bargain because it's $65 for Laguna and three blushes and highlighting powder and I think it's awesome her name is Sophia Storer and I will link her channel down below so you guys can get a more in-depth review on this palette but I think it is great okay so this video is already really really long I'm definitely sure of it so I will more than likely split this video into two seriously if not this video is gonna be like 30 minutes long maybe even longer so we don't want that so I will see you guys really really soon to continue this haul video madness thing have an awesome day please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys very pronto